Would you believe me if I said that modern women care about workers? You wouldn't, right? But hold on, let me explain what I mean. Of course, the average Joes, like plumbers, electricians, hunters, and farmers, are all frowned upon. The government even loves making these men's lives more difficult. Then, we've got the new jobs that society even tends to label as new forms of entrepreneurship. Yeah, I'm referring to OF and all those content creators. These chicks are considered entrepreneurs, and society has normalized them as if they had a job of service to humanity. These individuals monetize male libido like pros, I don't deny it, but their contribution to society is rather negative. Many men waste thousands of dollars on these women who just use that money not to invest, but to spend on things they don't need. That said, do you know what the worst part is? A woman of this caliber is trying to run for office. Check this out. Candidate in Virginia, mm -hmm. her name is Susanna Gibson. She's a Democrat. Um, she won her primary to get through to the general election. Um, and now it has come out that she had a little bit of a porn career mm -hmm. uh, before running for office. Her and her husband, who's a lawyer, mm -hmm. um, they were on this website, Chatterbait. Chatterbait is like a webcam servicing app. So it's you live, you know. Live webcam, you can chat with these people, you kind of pay a little extra to get them to do a little extra, and then they perform the acts on camera. Yes, I think that this, in, in different political times, this would be like, okay, career's over. In these political times, I mean, this could be great for business. <laughs> Yeah, business. The Founding Fathers would surely want to come back to live to fix this decay, cause this ain't the country they envisioned. Like, what the hell is this woman going to contribute to society? Tax breaks for sex workers? What a clown world. In today's video, we're delving into this situation, the underlying narrative, and also why things like this show the lack of trust in the government and politics as a whole. Stick around because I'm sure you're going to love this one. But before we go any further, let me share the comment of the day. Shout out to Holetito. He said, you can turn a lady into a hoe, but you can't turn a hoe into a lady. Father figures are important to keep boys and girls out of making mistakes that change their lives for the worse. Very, very true, mi amigo. Please don't forget to reach out to us by email to claim your $5 for that comment of the day. As usual guys, I'll pick one comment from each video. It may be the funniest, the most liked, or one that touched me. So don't forget to leave a comment and you may be our next winner. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons too as it helps a lot. And now, back to the video. Embrace your masculinity. Explicit videos have been leaked of a candidate who could help determine the political future of Virginia. We absolutely have to talk about this story involving Susanna Gibson. She's a nurse practitioner who's running in a highly competitive district for a super crucial seat on the Virginia House of Delegates. With the district she's running for, a suburban area outside of Richmond being one of seven toss-ups that will ultimately decide the fate of the House. You know, a real nail-biter with Republicans right now having a super narrow majority in the House of just 49 to 46. So there's a ton on the line, and this week, news broke that she and her husband used to perform on an adult cam site. With this first being reported by the Washington Post, which said they were alerted to the videos by a Republican operative who claimed to have no connections to the campaign of Gibson's opponent or, quote, other groups active in Virginia elections this year. And while the videos were streamed live, the Post reported that those streams are often archived on other publicly available sites. And the outlet finding more than a dozen videos of Gibson and her husband that had been archived on another site in September after Gibson entered the race. But, of course, when we're talking about situations like this, there is the legal aspect of this, but then there's also the court of public opinion. And arguably, the damage has already been done. With this sparking a massive debate, some people saying she posted this publicly and this should disqualify her from the race. Meanwhile, you have others arguing, no, this was a choice she made for for herself, nothing illegal happened. If being represented by incompetent idiots wasn't enough, the politician arena wants you to be represented by a hoe. I mean, not you if you don't live in Virginia, but you get the idea. This is the pinnacle of what politicians these days care about. Spoiler, they don't care about you at all, especially if you work the jobs that nobody wants to do and you're a man. 
Men who call out this crap are called toxic all the time, but I ain't got a problem with that. They can call decent men like you all the names on the planet, but let's call a spade a spade. Susanna Gibson is a hoe. I feel really bad for this generation and the people who want to vote for her. Such a group of degens. Let's break this down a bit because although sad, it's kind of funny. You know, some conspiracy theorists say, enjoy the decline. And in all honesty, we're just doing that. Modern women, simps, and society are pushing these agendas day in and day out while decent, hard-working, God-fearing men are mocked and even called names for wanting wives and not hoes. And surely, you don't want a hoe to be in Congress. Here's an article that explains the whole situation. A Democrat running for a crucial seat in Virginia's House of Delegates performed sex acts with her husband for a live online audience and encouraged viewers to pay them with tips for specific requests, according to online videos viewed by the Washington Post. Susanna Gibson, a nurse practitioner and mother of two young children running in a highly competitive suburban Richmond district, streamed sex acts on Chatterbait, a platform that says it takes its name from the act of masturbating while chatting online. Chatterbait videos are streamed live on that site and are often archived on other publicly available sites. More than a dozen videos of the couple captured from the Chatterbait stream were archived on one of those sites, Recurbate, in September 2022, after she entered the race. The most recent were two videos archived on September 30, 2022. It is unclear when the live stream occurred. I can't make this shit up if I tried, okay? Susanna Gibson. She's a Virginia Democrat. She's running for some kind of office. She's also known as Hot Wife Experience on Shot Debate. Her and her husband are like, you know what, fuck it, let's get a little freaky. Let's, you know, open an account on Chat Debate and we'll, you know, we'll do it. We'll be live. We'll, you know, get people to give us money, give us tips, tokens, whatever it is. They do. They have like over 5,000 followers. There's all kinds of still pictures. If you look on the internet, I haven't seen any of the videos. I have no desires to see them, believe me. Well, the guy she's running against, he found it, found out about it. You know what he did? He was starting to share information. She gets pissed off. She hires a fucking lawyer. And she says that he illegally invaded my privacy, my private space. Okay, first of all, you're fucking your husband on a live thing on the internet, okay? I'm pretty sure you have no expectation of privacy. We watched your husband invade private space. How about that? But you're going about this all wrong. What you need to do, ditch the attorney, okay? Ditch the attorney. Be like, how you doing? Me and my husband, we're freaky deaky. We like to swing. We have pineapples hanging upside down. We got Lufus on the rear of your mirror. How about that? There's a lot of people that are into that shit, okay? Just own it. Do it. Make that your fucking platform. This is what I can do for you. Ask not what I can do for your country. Ask what I can do for you. Look it up. Susanna Gibson, hot, sexy wife experience. I don't care about when that happened. She was a nurse, so rest assured, she got a lot of money. Remember that nurse on Fresh and Fit who made around 100k after taxes? Whatever excuse Susanna Gibson comes up with is simply unacceptable, just like decent voters shouldn't support a chick of this caliber. But let's focus on our main topic. Modern women are all about stupid propaganda like the past doesn't matter. As a result, these things happen, and society wants you to normalize them. Not only is the Republican Party responding to this situation, but also average citizens, including some women like the one in the previous clip. Sure, Republicans will use this as a means to a political end, but this situation goes way beyond seats, House of Delegates, and legislation. As I said before, a chick like this might propose some tax breaks for sex workers or even more hyper-sexualized propaganda and curriculums in schools, which is terrible, but the bottom line is even worse. The root of many problems these days is that modern women do not have to face the consequences of their actions. So if a woman is a hoe, used to have sex on camera, and even got paid for it, it's all good because she needed that cash, wanted to donate that money to charity or whatever excuse. But no, anyone with a bit of common sense would argue that she ain't using that money for others, but for herself. Plus, she had one of the positions that many women would love to get into. 
She wasn't a cashier, she was a nurse, probably one of the highest earners in the economy. A Virginia Democratic candidate was spotted on an adult streaming website. Susanna Gibson, who is now running for the state's House of Delegates, reportedly performed certain acts on camera for tips. The videos, which also feature her husband, show Susanna pressing her audience for more donations, adding that she was raising money for a good cause. The 40-year-old mother of two reportedly told her 5,700 followers on the platform that she is ethically non-monogamous and tried swapping with different partners. After the story met headlines, Gibson refused to drop out of the race, accusing her political opponents of trying to intimidate her. Yeah, they were trying to intimidate her, but she's a strong and independent woman who doesn't need no man. Unless she's got to shoot a scene, of course. The push for these kinds of things is monumental, but men are waking up and calling out this decay. But you know what's worse? She claims that all she did was for a good cause. Like, what? Making her kids' lives ten times more difficult now that their classmates will know that her mom used to shoot corn? Before we get back to the article, hit that like button and show us some love in the comments. While still listed on Recurbate, those videos were no longer available for viewing as of Saturday, after a Republican operative alerted the Washington Post about them. But the videos remained live on another non-password protected site, which the Post viewed. At least two other publicly available sites displayed explicit, still, photos from the videos, the Post confirmed. Gibson, 40, can be seen in the video soliciting tips for performing specific acts, in apparent violation of Chatterbait's terms and conditions, which say, requesting or demanding specific acts for tips may result in a ban from the platform for all parties involved. In at least two videos, she tells viewers she is raising money for a good cause. In multiple videos, Gibson interrupts sex acts to type into a bedside computer. Speaking directly into the screen, she urges viewers to provide tips, which are paid through tokens purchased through the site. In at least two videos, she agrees to perform certain acts only in a private room, an arrangement that requires the viewer to pay more. Gibson is running against Republican David Owen. He told The Post, I'm sure this is a difficult time for Susanna and her family, and I am remaining focused on my campaign. As for Gibson, we have requested an interview with her and are waiting to hear back. She did send us a statement that reads, This is an illegal invasion of my privacy designed to humiliate me and my family. It won't intimidate me and it won't silence me. My political opponents and their Republican allies have proven they are willing to commit a sex crime to attack me and my family because there is no line they won't cross to silence women when they speak up. They are trying to silence me because they want to silence you and I won't let that happen. My opponent and his allies know that the people of this district are on our side on the issues, so they are stooping to the worst gutter politics. There is too much at stake in this election and I'll never stop fighting for our community. How is it an illegal invasion of her privacy when it's on a publicly available website and is content she and her husband intentionally made and released on the website? They aren't Pam Anderson and Tommy Lee having a private video made public. If she really thought this was an invasion of privacy, she better think twice and learn the meaning of her words. Like, come on, her videos are all over the internet, so everyone has access to them. The internet never forgets. Sadly, the IRS will probably never check whether she paid taxes on those tips. Speaking of money, we saw what she does for $50. What do you think she will do as a politician if she gets thousands of dollars? Drop your thoughts in the comments. But honestly, I don't think she's going to do anything good for the so-called community. But what does the community mean to her? OF models, corn stars, and overall fake entrepreneurs who capitalize on male libido? Rest assured that she won't fight for the rights of men who build the roads, skyscrapers, etc. Another point that gets my blood boiling is that we're supposedly trying to shut the mouths of women who speak up for themselves. We really don't want to know what chicks like her do with their mouths open, if you know what I mean, but that's a topic for another video. What she really means is that she's an advocate for strong and independent women, but oblivious to the fact that she's got a family. Also, her husband is to blame because he shot some videos with her and now she's ethically non-monogamous. 
Translation, he's a simp who just gets some of his wife's pussy when she wants to. He's not a victim, but his kids are. Those innocent children will surely have to deal with tons of bullying throughout their entire life, and no matter where they go, their classmates and colleagues can easily find out what their mom was up to back in the day. All right, this is a real headline from the AP. Virginia candidate who livestreams sex videos draws support from women and a leading Democrat. Okay, why is this something that women are supporting? No one leaked these videos of this Virginia candidate. She put them on a porn website for money. But somehow this is now a rallying cry for respect. You know, what, are, what are women doing to themselves? Joining me now, try to get some answers, Rachel Campos Duffy, Fox News host and contributor, and Peachy Keenan, author of Domestic Extremist, a practical guide to winning the culture war. Rachel, I, I saw this, I thought it was a joke. Now, now publishing porn, uh, you, you then complain when people start talking about it, say that that's a violation of your, I guess, privacy, but then the empowerment is supposed to come from all of this. How is this happening? Yeah, I mean, Laura, the fact that we're even talking about this, and this involves not just a woman, but a mother of two, a nurse in a suburban district, I mean, this just shows how far we've fallen as a civilization. It's shameful. Um, and now she's coming out and she's saying, this is a crime. Um, the crime is against her family. And by the way, let's not let her husband off the hook. I, I think it's important to note that she performed these acts for money with her husband involved as well. So these are not good people. And the Democrat Party isn't distancing themselves at all from this, Laura. They're doubling down. They are fundraising for her. Um, you know, she's endorsed by Eric Holder, which pretty much means she's practically endorsed by the Obamas. So this is not, they're not ashamed of it. The media is backing her up. Um, and, and this is a real sign of the pornification of America, of the normalization of things that should not be normal for a mother of two. Yeah, so now, Peachy, it uh, looks like the Democrat Party is just porn hub. I mean, it's, all, it's, not a, it's not a hub for economic growth, but it is essentially porn hub. Congratulations, <laughs> women. This is fantastic. Looks like the Democrat Party is just porn up, she said. It's not a hub for economic growth, but it is essentially porn hub. Congratulations, women. Like, wow, you're really doing a lot for yourselves and your families. Do you remember what happened to the Roman Empire during its last years? That's what's happening to America and most of the Western world. The average Joe is unappreciated and politics are all about promoting destructive ideologies. If you know, you know. Let's go back to the article. I need, like, more tokens before I let him do that. She responds to a request that they perform a certain act. One token? No. More. Raising money for a good cause. Almost immediately, as tips apparently arrive, she says, Thank you, five times, and tells her husband she will agree to that act. Gibson takes the lead in addressing viewers on videos viewed by The Post, but in one case her husband, an attorney, chimes in with, Come on guys, to echo her entreaties for tips. In a written statement, Gibson called the exposure of the videos an illegal invasion of my privacy designed to humiliate me and my family. It won't intimidate me and it won't silence me. She said, my political opponents and their Republican allies have proven they're willing to commit a sex crime to attack me and my family because there's no line they won't cross to silence women when they speak up. Daniel P. Watkins, a lawyer for Gibson, said disseminating the videos constitutes a violation of the state's revenge porn law which makes it a class one misdemeanor to maliciously distribute nude or sexual images of another person with intent to coerce, harass, or intimidate. We are working closely with state and federal law enforcement, Watkins said. The Post typically does not identify victims of alleged sex crimes to protect their privacy. In this case, Gibson originally live-streamed these sexual acts on a site that was not password-protected. The couple had more than 5,700 followers there. Many of the videos remained available to the public on other unrestricted sites as of Saturday. Watkins said Gibson was not aware of and had not authorized the posting of chatterbait material on other sites. 
Asked why Gibson had a reasonable expectation of privacy on Chatterbay, Watkins pointed to a 2021 Virginia Court of Appeals ruling that found it was unlawful for a man to secretly record his girlfriend during a consensual sexual encounter even if he did not show the video to others. In that case, Ronnie Lee Johnson versus Commonwealth of Virginia, the court found that consent to being seen is not the same as consent to being recorded, writing that there was a stark distinction between an image existing only in someone's memory and a permanent file that may be shared or reviewed indefinitely. Gibson faces Republican David Owen, a retired home builder, on November 7, when all 140 seats in Virginia's House and Senate will be on the ballot. Me and my team found out about the story today, like everyone else, Owen said in a written statement Monday afternoon, soon after The Post published an article about Gibson. I'm sure this is a difficult time for Susanna and her family, and I'm remaining focused on my campaign. She better be focused on her campaign, because nobody will ever forget her past. These events, again, are proof that a woman's past always matters. Not only in the realm of politics, because we would prefer having strong and capable leaders who care about the problems of regular people, but also in terms of dating and marriage. At the end of the day, a smart man always cares about a woman's past and will never allow a hoe to be his wife or the mother of his kids. Stay strong, guys. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you will get five bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video, guys. Till next time.